Everybody, welcome back to Three Day Weekend. You got Chris here today, and I'm with a vehicle that thinks it's Christmas. My old Jeep Grand Cherokee, because it's lit up every decorative light on the instrument cluster that you could imagine. I believe it's just one simple little part. So let's take a look, see if we can get this thing running again. This particular Jeep, it's an 06 Grand Cherokee. It's got the Hemi and all that. This also works with the Commanders and newer Grand Cherokees as well. It's a pretty universal thing. So here's the lights I have. Service four-wheel drive system, traction control, yes. All these, all these lights. Um, but we're gonna use Alpha OBD. If you don't have it, I highly recommend it. Um, pay one time, you have the app, you can do all kinds of goodies, including troubleshooting the ABS computer. And in the ABS computer, we pulled a code that says the driver's side front wheel speed sensor is acting up. So I have a wheel speed sensor and we're gonna throw that in real quick. Here's the wheel speed sensor. Simple enough. The actual sensor and the wire goes up to the inner fender. Got it from Napa. There's the part number from Napa. I did originally order one from Amazon, which came in yesterday and someone had used it or put their old one back in the package, whatever. So I'm sending that one back. The one on Amazon was $20, this one was $40, but they had it today and I just need to think fix because I don't have crews while this light is on. So this is what we're after. I gotta unplug it here and it runs down and around and back and into the hub. So I'm gonna pull off the tire first so we can get access to it. Here's what we're looking for. Starts up there, goes down, wraps around, twists whatever, ends up over here, goes down, and it goes right to uh, in there. So we gotta pull off the rotor. In order to do that, I'm just gonna pull off the entire brake caliper bracket assembly, which is held on by two 21 millimeter bolts, one up top and one and down below. I'm surprised normally that these rotors are seized on there and you gotta hit them with hammers and stuff to get them off, but this one fell right off. When you're taking your caliper bracket and everything off, have some wire ready so you can just hang it on there so it doesn't hurt your brake line. But that gets us to this rusty, rusty mess. Oh my, I'm gonna clean that up a little bit and spray it down. Hopefully I can get that out of there. came out pretty easy. I thought it was gonna be more difficult. That's a five millimeter hex. Get that little bolt out. I sprayed it down really good, but it came out nice. So that just leaves us with the part, which can be frozen in there, and it is possible to break it off inside. I do not wanna break it off inside. So I'm gonna just turn it ever so slightly, using pliers on the end, just to kind of break it loose and then hopefully I can pull it right out. Despite my best efforts, it did not come out clean. And it is broken inside. Which means I am most likely taking the hub out. Yay. 
I'm just gonna let that soak in a little bit. While we wait, this is the new one. It looks like the old one is broken just above the O-ring. So there's really not much left inside of there. It's probably the O-ring itself is caught. So I'll leave this a little bit more because the wires are still attached. So it's nice to have something to pull on. But I might have to, maybe I'll try jamming something down in there just to break this loose and then be able to pull it out. Yeah, we'll see what we can do. Oh, it's moving. Aha, it worked. Oh my goodness. I can't even tell you how happy I am that that worked. Yep, that's where it was caught. Ooh, it's nasty in there. So yeah, I just grabbed a screwdriver and pushed it down a little bit, pulled it back, pushed it down, pulled it back, back and forth, and then it came right out. Cool. I'm just gonna clean this out, rags and stuff. Clean the surface a little bit with a wire brush. And then you get the new one put in. All right, that's all cleaned up pretty good. Now we gotta run the new one. Ready? Let's run this new one. Obviously we start at the beginning and that plugs in. And then the plug goes into the first hole. Then it comes down here and goes into the second hole right in the firewall. Firewall. Fender. The third one the clip is built in, so it just kind of fits in there. And it starts going down. Then we get to this one, which is backwards from what you'd think it'd be. Let me get it tangled around here. Crap, it's gonna go around the strut. Not the other side, okay. I'll get this plugged in and then I'll show it to you. This is probably where it broke. The angle, this is really weird. There. All right, so I'll show you that one in a minute and then you're left with two. Obviously, they go right here. Oh my. And they're a tight fit. That one there. This one here. Oh, that one went in easier. And then you're just left with this sensor down there. All right, let me show you this one over here. Around the back. That one. See how it goes down and then up? Pretty tight right there. That's how it says to do it. Remember, this wasn't super tight to begin with, so don't torque it down crazy tight. Just in case it has to be done again in the future. Hopefully not, but you never know. There we go. Nice and snug. Then we're just gonna put the rotor back on and the brakes. And the tires, obviously. While I'm in here, I'm gonna fix an issue I've been having. We live in upstate New York, so we get a lot of rust. And it wreaks havoc on vehicles. Listen to the sound. Hear that? That noise right there? That's this back plate. 
rubbing on the back of the rotor. So you just gotta bend that back by hand so that it's not touching it anywhere. It's still touching. Otherwise it'll make that noise all the time. It drives me crazy. I can see where it's been hitting right here. So I'm gonna get that bent out of the way too. All right, we're back in the car. Normally these don't clear on the very first hit. So I don't expect it to be off, and it's not. But it should clear on its own after just a few hundred feet. So let me get my seatbelt going. Make sure that there's a dog spying on me. I'll take it on test rip. Okay, we're set, clear sailing ahead. all of our viewers, all of our subscribers, and we'll see you next time right here on 3 Day Weekend.